I just found out about a new options trading strategy, well, new to me, that can make you as much as 99% returns in just two hours. And this is gonna be a more advanced strategy, so if you're new to options trading, or if you're new to the channel, make sure to check out my other videos first, but I'm super excited to share this with you today. Welcome back to Everything Options. My name is Greg, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Iron Butterfly. So to break this video down for you, first we're gonna go over the basics of the strategy, followed up by how to open one of these trades with a real example. Then I'm gonna show you how to close it, which is equally important. And finally, at the end of this video, we're gonna talk about the risks of the Iron Butterfly. But before we get into it, if you wanna see more videos like this on advanced options trading strategies, make sure to leave a like down below and comment what you wanna see next. Starting out with the basics, the Iron Butterfly is basically like a credit spread. It's actually the combination of both a call credit spread and a put credit spread in one. And if you watch my video on credit spreads, you know how to open these. You sell one option, you buy another option with a different strike price for the same expiration dates. And you're gonna combine these two strategies together in order to form the Iron Butterfly. And the options that you short for both your call credit spread and your put credit spread are gonna have the same strike price. And I know this can seem a little bit confusing. You might not know where you want the stock to go. So let me try to explain it. With a credit spread, you want your options to expire either out of the money or you want the share price of the stock to be immediately at the strike price that you shorted. And in this case, you'll be taking max profit. And the same goes for whenever you're opening an iron butterfly. You want the share price to be right at the strike price that you shorted for these in order to realize a max profit from both the call credit spread and the put credit spread. This means that you're gonna be receiving max profit from both of these credit spreads, so you're getting double the premium in a single trade. And to tie this all together in a neat little example, I'm gonna give you the best stocks, the best strike prices, and the best expiration dates. But before we get into that, if you wanna know what options I'm trading every day, I post all my trade alerts to my premium Discord. You can find that in my Patreon, link down in the pinned comment below. The best stocks for this strategy are gonna be low beta stocks, which just means that they're less volatile than the rest of the market. And some good examples of this right now is General Mills or AT&T. Neither of these stocks have moved more than about 10% over the last year, so they don't see a lot of movement. But the issue with this is because they don't see a lot of movement, people are less inclined to buy into options on them because they can't make as much money. So some better stocks that you might wanna use this on is indices like SPY, QQQ, or DIA. There's gonna be a lot more liquidity in these options than there would be for AT&T. I'm gonna choose SPY for our example today because it's easy, it has a lot of volume, and it doesn't see a lot of volatility. It's not like Tesla where it moves like 10% in a single day. The most you get out of SPY is usually plus or minus like 2%. And just like with any other option strategy, the first thing that we're gonna do is set our expiration date. And for this, we're gonna set it to the monthly expiration date. So each month, on the third Friday of each month, there is one expiration date, and these are gonna offer the most liquidity because more people are interested in this than the weekly options, which is gonna be the first, second, and fourth Friday of every month. So for this case, we're gonna use the August 20th, which is actually today, and we're gonna choose our strike price by using the options pinning theory. And this theory is a little bit complex. I'm gonna make an entire video on it. If you wanna see that, leave a like down below. But the gist of it is you want to choose an option that has the most open interest on it because the stock will gravitate towards that strike price. You're going to start out by selling two options, a call and a put, both at the same strike price with the highest open interest. So for this month, it's going to be $440. This is by far the most popular option for this month. So we're going to sell both a call and a put, both at the $440 strike price. And the options that we buy back in order to balance these out is going to depend on how much money we want to put down on our trade. So if we only want to put $1 down for our trade, we're only going to set the distance between our strike prices to one dollar you'll multiply that one dollar by the hundred and that's how much collateral you have to put down for your trade so we're going to buy the 441 call against our short 440 dollar call and then we're going to buy the 439 put against our 440 dollar short put so in total we're opening four options we're putting 100 dollars down and we're getting 99 dollars of credit for this particular trade this is a 99% return based on our $100 of collateral, but the issue is you have to have this down to a T whenever it comes to the timing, whenever it comes to strike price. SPY has to be exactly at $440, our short strike price, at 8 p.m. on our expiration date here. In that case, we'll realize that full $99 of credit, which is our max profit. And this is the only case where we would reach that full 99% return. But there is a good chance that you're gonna be making money before the expiration date and before the time your options expire. Like I said earlier, Pin Theory suggests that the stock price will gravitate towards the most popular strike price. And right now, SPY is trading at $443. So if it makes that huge move from 443 to 440, 
in the last hour of trading, chances are we're probably gonna be making 30 to 50% profit, and we can lock that in by closing our options before it expires. And whenever you wanna close your options, Robinhood makes it super easy. They have a close button, but if you're not using Robinhood, the way that you're going to close your option is the exact opposite of how you opened it. Remember, we sold the 440 call and the 440 put, so we're gonna buy these two options back, and then in one swift motion, we're also gonna sell the 441 call and sell the 439 put option. Whenever we close this trade, we're gonna be paying a debit since when we first opened it, we received a credit, and if that debit paid to close a trade is less than the credit received, you're gonna be at a profit. Ideally, you would wanna buy this back between 30 to 50% cheaper. So in this case, we received $99 of credit. So we wanna buy this option back for around $60 or so. And the best part about the strategy is that it has super limited risk because these options can only total a value of $100. We sold them for $99. If we reached our max loss, it would only be $1. That's the difference between the debit paid whenever you close this at max loss versus what you got paid, the $99 credit. And this is gonna be the case if SPY is above 441 or below 439. But there's a much bigger risk that I haven't even covered yet. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I like to talk about the good, the bad, and everything in between about options. So let's talk about the risks. The biggest risk whenever it comes to the iron butterfly is exercising risk. And this happens at expiration. And this is probably one of the scariest things that you'll ever face as an options trader. And you'll either have to buy or sell 100 shares of a stock that you don't have the money for or that you don't have 100 shares of. And if you don't have the money or the shares in order to cover these trades, you're kind of screwed. If you had to buy 100 shares of a stock that you can't afford or if you had to sell 100 shares that you don't own, you're gonna be short on the shares, which is gonna result in a negative balance. With our SPY example from earlier, we could be in the hole by as much as $44,000. But before you start freaking out, usually you can work this out with your brokerage over the next Monday. Usually this happens whenever both legs of your spread are in the money at 4 p.m. on your expiration date, but then suddenly after hours, the stock starts to move, pushing your short option out of the money so you won't get assigned on that. But if your long option is still in the money over here, you're gonna get exercised on that, meaning that you have to buy or sell 100 shares of your stock. This is why it's always in your best interest to close out of your spreads before they expire, no matter what. And the second risk that you run whenever you're using the iron butterfly is early assignment risk. And this is really, really rare, but the person that bought your short options from you can exercise their options early. And if you get assigned on a short put, you'll have to buy 100 shares of the stock. And if you get assigned on a short call, you'll have to sell 100 shares of your stock at your strike price. If you get assigned early though, and if you're paying attention, you can actually exercise your long options in order to balance this out. This means that you have to buy and sell 100 shares of your stock, but since these options balance themselves out your brokerage is going to take care of this for you to where you don't have to put up your own money for this so that is the two risk whenever it comes to the iron butterfly getting exercise on your expiration date or having your short options assigned early and that's pretty much all i got for you for the iron butterfly today i know it's more of a complex strategy so if you have to watch this video a couple times through go ahead and do that and before i go i want to say thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video and thank you to all my patrons for the support and as always remember to stay positive stay green i'll catch you in the next one bye guys